All right, guys, this is just a little quick guide on how to beat Lionel on the top of Ploinus Mountain. If you're heading toward the Zora Domain uh, as one of the first tribes to reach in the game, um, you're going to have to go through this guy eventually so you can take on um, one of the first uh, mechanical beasts. Um, don't run away from this guy. He's, he's actually pretty easy. Um, I did die a couple times, but um, he's actually easier than the, um, the little defense sentry drone that I fought earlier in one of my videos um, in the uh, test of strength. Um, I didn't really have a lot of stuff to take him on. Um, I don't have very many hearts, but he's very predictable and he fights with a pattern. So he'll run after he strikes a couple times, he'll run around like that. And he'll usually do two run throughs and then he'll probably end with a charge but if you got a good shield you can block him when he stops he'll go ahead and strike back like that really easy to dodge this is how i dealt most of my damage he'll do it again and as long as you're you know perfect dodging you'll be able to do this is how you'll do all your damage so i was able to do three right here Yep, and then he'll go into his other phase, so he'll just he'll start running. And that charge right there he did with the where he uses his axe, I mean his um his broadsword and his, his shield, um, that thing could be really, really deadly. I've been one shot it before. So be be cautious of that. But it's really slow. Unfortunately for me, I had a lot of uh, two-handed weapons, so I had to do a lot of switching back and forth. And another tip, if you want to get away from him and you happen to climb up on those rocks, he'll start to shoot uh, uh, spark arrows or thunder arrows at you. And um, I took one and I died, so um, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Um, the easiest way to kill this guy is just taking him head on. It is a little intimidating, but once you get into the groove on how he, how he fights, it's really easy. It just takes time to kill him. I would come into the battle stocked with good weapons, I mean the best you could find, and a lot of health. Um, before I came up here, I already knew he was going to be up here, um, so I went ahead and I used, I made a lot of things. Um, I cooked up a lot, of, a lot of meals before I came up just to prep for it. Now one thing I did here was I always kept my health up, even if it was just the smallest amount. 
Because at any moment he could have hit me and that could have been it. So I would suggest keeping your health up if your health meter is anywhere near mine. And those dodges, I'm not actually perfectly timing them, I'm just spamming. Oh, and this is one of his, uh, when he gets down to below half health, um, who, after he does his charges, he'll, he'll run back and he'll start shooting fireballs. I don't know the extent of the damage that they do since I've never been hit with them, but I wouldn't want to find out. This axe I'm using, um, the Ancient Axe Plus, I actually got that from the uh, Mura Group Shrine uh, Test of Strength, and the shield I'm holding as well was from the same enemy. And like I said earlier, that guy was, I felt like he was more difficult than this guy. You can also hide behind those trees when he does the charges, uh, but I wouldn't recommend doing it for the fireballs. I'm not sure if the fireballs go through or not. Because when he does the charge and he runs into the tree, it doesn't break. And that's it guys, see? nothing. There's not too much to him. Uh, don't be afraid, just have courage, fight this guy, take him on and get all his gear. That way you can collect the uh, the arrows in peace so you could continue on with the rest of the story. So if this video helped you out, let me know in the comments. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you like what I'm putting up and you like the series. And uh, until next time, I'm CRT, and I'll see you later.